वेलकम टू आवर टूडेज मैथ्स क्लस टूडे आवर प्रॉब्लम इज नाइन टू दि पावर एक्स माइनस सिक्स टू दि पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर टू दि पावर एक्स फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नाउ लेट अस सी द स्टेप बाय स्टेप सॉल्यूशन वेन एवर यू इनकाउंटर सच एन एक्सप्रेशन गो इन टू फाइंडिंग वॉट इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यूज दैट इज अ नाइन सिक्स एंड फोर now we can easily find out that 9 is equal to 3 into 3 that is 3 square and uh, 6 is equal to 2 into 3 and 4 is equal to 2 into 2 that is 2 square so we can write here 9 we can write 3 square to the power x minus 6 we can write 2 into 3 to the power x and this we can write 2 square to the power x now we know that a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power n to the power m that is the indices are interchangeable so here we can write it 3 to the power x square minus now also a to the power m sorry a into b to the power n is equal to a to the power n into b to the power n so this 2 into 3 whole to the power x we can write 2 to the power x into 3 to the power x and this similarly to this we can write 2 to the power x square now let us divide both side of the equation with 2 to the power x is whole square so it becomes 3 to the power x s whole square divided by 2 to the power x s whole square minus 2 to the power x into 3 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x s whole square and here 2 to the power x s whole square divided by 2 to the power x s whole square now since both the terms are whole square so we can take this inside one bracket that is 3 by 2 this to the power x to the power 2 minus 2 to the power x whole square means 2 to the power x into 2 to the power x so 1 2 to the power x will cancel with the 2 to the power x in the numerator so in the numerator side there will be 1 3 to the power x and in the denominator there will be 1 2 to the power x and this will equal to 1 because here it is 2 to the power x is whole square and the denominator is also 2 to the power x is whole square so in the right hand side of the equation there will be 1 now you see we can simplify this equation as 3 by 2 to the power x is whole square minus 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to 1 or even we can take this 1 to the left hand side of the equation and make the right hand side equals to 0 if we consider this 3 by 2 to the power x as say a so it becomes a square 3 by 2 to the power x we are replacing with a so it, be, it becomes a square minus a and on the right hand side there is 1 and we will take this one to the left hand side of the equation so the equation will become a square minus a minus 1 is equals to 0 now we have a quadratic equation here and we can very simply find out the solution from the rule of the quadratic equation what is the rule of the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equals to 0 then x is equal to minus b plus minus root over of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 into a so simply we can get the value of a from this equation is equal to a minus 1 because the coefficient of the a is minus 1 so 
plus minus root over of b square that is minus 1 square minus 4 a a means a squares coefficient here into c that is minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 so what will be the values of a this will be minus 1 plus minus under the roots root over this will be 1 minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 that means plus 4 divided by 2 so there will be two values of x 1 is minus 1 plus root over 5 divided by 2 and another will be minus 1 minus root over 5 divided by 2 now we have considered what 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to a. So if a is equal to minus 1 plus root over 5 divided by 2, we can write 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to minus 1 plus root over 5 by 2 and taking logarithm of both sides we get what we get log of 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to log of minus 1 plus root over 5 by 2 so this power will come before the log so it come it will come here log 3 by 2 and here it will be log minus 1 plus root over 5 divided by 2 so from here we can say that x is equal to this log 3 by 2 will be we will divide the both of the sides of the equation with log 3 by 2 so it will become log minus 1 plus root over 5 by 2 divided by log 3 by 2 and this is the first answer in case of the second answer this plus will be minus because the another solution under the second answer value of a will be minus 1 minus root over 5 by 2 because that was the second answer for a and accordingly the value of x will be nothing but log minus 1 minus root over 5 by 2 divided by log 3 by 2 so these are the two answers for x